Carolina. When I was getting 13, 14, that was my dream to be in fashion. Adita. I can't believe how big high heels I'm walking on now. Anya. You get to actually wear these wonderful clothes, beautiful clothes. Magdalena. I think the good part of fashion is diversity. It never bores me. Carmen. I was laughing and I said, yeah, they should call Estonia Carmen. Hannah. This is my first show. I'm uh, going to be in um, Magikop. So many shows, like, I, I don't know yet. And Ava. I don't think there's going to be another Ava. Watch and find out which of these seven Eastern European elites is number one on our list and choose your favorite too. Kicking off the countdown at number seven is Magdalena. I'm from Poland, north of Poland, from Gdańsk. Uh, very beautiful place. Someone met me on the street and proposed to be a model. And then uh, I met with an agent from uh, actual my model, mother agency now. And you know, you descended me to Paris and to New York. I didn't really think that much about it. I just, as a, I just tried, you know, as a new experience. Who knows? <laughs> I always wanted to be an architect. Now I think I changed my mind. It's, it's always changing from one thing to another. You know, I, I, every day I have a new idea. <laughs> I didn't start full-time until I didn't finish the high school. I think it's necessary to finish the school first. And I'm very glad that my parents actually made sure that I finish school first and then, uh, and, then I, and then I try modeling. I live in New York. I live in West Village. Actually, I'm thinking to move East Village. Yeah. I, I feel like it's a little bit much younger, much more fun. When there's a nice weather in New York, going to park, Taking bicycle, of course, you know, going out to with friends, reading books, cinema. But there's always something, and usually when I have free time, I always spend my time with my friends or seeing my parents, going to see my parents. And there's lots of things. I think, you know, in a way, sometimes I feel like I'm losing my privacy. I feel like my life is my job and only that, you know, like I feel like I'm losing I'm losing the balance between having my, my private and own life and having my, my my work. But I think that's that's the part actually of, of being a model, that you give so much out there that fashion is becoming part of your life. I think the good part of fashion is diversity. It never bores me. There's always something new going on. New show, new experience, new people to meet, traveling a lot, meeting very interesting people, having a chance to work with a big artist, you know, designers, being a part of, uh, of fashion history in a way, growing faster, becoming more responsible, more, uh, more mature in a way. I take my moment now and I don't really think ahead too much. I enjoy what I have now. I try to be the best in what I do now. And we'll see what the future brings me. Who knows? You never know on the end, right? From Lithuania, ranking at number six, Adida. Hi, I'm Adita. I went to one competition, they chose me and very soon I left to Barcelona to start. So it was happening very fast. I never left Lithuania before, so when I started to travel it was very interesting of course. Meeting many people, it's possibility to bring my family to see me and of course you get paid very well, so you have possibility to buy things and make a lot of things. And uh, I don't know, you meet a lot of interesting people, a lot of people you knew from magazines. It's very nice things about modeling. 
Now I know, I pretty know everybody, you know, fam famous designers and everybody, but in the beginning was very exciting. It's still exciting. I love to walk on the runways. Of course, it's a little bit tiring to do all the month or even more of running and not sleeping, but the feeling when you get in on the stage with fantastic clothes and with great music and yeah, you have those, I don't know how you call them, goose, yeah, goosebumps. It's really interesting, especially because I love music, so for me to go in the rhythm of the music is great. I just enjoy, I try to, to do my best in walking and I really don't feel the pressure of the people watching me because you usually you don't see, you know, because the light is on us. Anyway, before I didn't wear high heels at all, even small ones, so I was at home putting really high heels and trying to walk and get used to it. And then I can't believe how big high heels I'm walking on now. It's kind of scary. It is scary. My style, day style is very simple. T-shirt, na na you know. Yeah. In the beginning it was very weird because in Lithuania there is all these things where they bring us, what we do and, and anyway my family knows everything I'm doing and they came to visit me so they are very happy of course, very very happy. Number five on our countdown, get to know Hannah. One of the freshest faces to make an impact on the international runways this season was 17-year-old Hanna Sukapova. Surprisingly, she didn't grow up dreaming of photo shoots and runways. No, I never, I never wanted to be model. Just my sister sent my, sent my pictures to the agency in Prague, and ju they just called me to come to Prague and show myself and I was so happy, it was exciting for me, like so surprised for me. The long-limbed teenager enjoys a game of hoops in her free time, but her success in the last few years means that free time is in short supply. Three years, one year in Czech Republic, and then I started to travel. And this is my first show. I'm gonna be like in um, Mar Jacobs. So many shows, like I, I don't know yet. This is my second season. So the second season, it's uh, better all the time. Like but every day is different and. Like on the shoot, if I do some shootings, I, I feel like not a person. I can be uh, rich, like uh, rich woman and snobby and like you know, I feel like different person. I really miss my family and my family miss me, so I have to every day send my uh, send message to my mom because my mom she wanna know what I'm doing and if I'm okay. When I'm not modeling, I try to do pictures, like photography. I, I really like photography and do pictures. I have some uh, models, like friends, so I ask them to do pictures with me and I'm trying. I want to stay in this business because I really like it. Like, I'm so excited for it, to be model. I really like it. Landing at number four, it's catwalk siren Anya. My name is Anya Rubik and I'm with Next. 
21-year-old Anya Rubik's success in the modeling world proves that mother always knows best. My mom actually, she sent pictures to a competition in Poland, to a magazine. Um, she didn't tell me because she didn't want me to be disappointed if it wouldn't work. And then um, the competition was organized by my mother agency in Poland. And that's how it all started. And then they asked me to come to Paris. Then I went back home because I was still at school, so I didn't make my decision if I wanted to model. So I finished school and then I decided to move to New York and start modeling full time. It's different. You know, when you see modeling outside this world, it seems so much more fun, easier, more glamorous than it really is. It's really a lot of hard work, a lot of patience and getting up really early, working in cold places, hot places, I'm getting along with so many people, it's much more complicated than you think it is. So it's, it's a lot, you have to get along with people, you have to move well and feel comfortable in front of the camera. It's, it's less glamorous in real life than it looks outside, it's beautiful. We come out, we look great, we have the hair is done, the makeup's done, we wear the best clothes ever. We're you know, smiling and happy, but really it's pretty hard. You get to travel a lot, you get to meet really interesting people. You get to actually wear these wonderful clothes, beautiful clothes. And um, it's just, it gives you when, you, when you take pictures in the magazines after you have this kind of, you look at it and you're happy with them. Because you work with photographers, which are amazing people, so. Um, you get to know some of the glamour, you get to go out and meet interesting and famous people as well. Famous people, I mean Lenny Kravitz, now I just remember like all the top models like um, Naomi Campbell, Anna Galisa, the Hartigova. And um, so oh, I got to meet a lot of people, and I remember at Baby Fat in New York. There are so many stars backstage. Oh, and Gwen Stefani, and there are a lot of people backstage as well, like um, actors and singers. Basically, I, I made up my mind that this is what I want to do. Five years ago, quite a long time now. Next at number three, it's the one and only Carolina. I wanted to be modeled. When I was getting 13, 14, I always wanted to be, yeah. I was like into the fashion, the magazines, and models, and TV, and <laughs> I was into it. And it was my dream to be in fashion. At only 16, Carolina Kirkova is living the ultimate dream. Proof is, she's one of Vogue's favorite new cover models and widely considered the hottest thing since a certain Brazilian bombshell. Caroline is unbelievable. I mean, I think she lives and breathes to be a model. Carolina was selected for American Legends Fall Campaign in their rendition of the Swinging 60s. Carolina shined as Marianne Faithful, <laughs> Mick Jagger's one-time girlfriend. In conveying this Marianne Faithful persona, she was absolutely perfect. Carolina's full lips and fringed hair are part of her unique allure. I do French. I have a French, yeah, but they don't want for this fashion show, they don't want French. It's me. They put my hair on the side. They may hide her trademark tresses, but this Czech import is popping up all over, far away from her hometown. I grew up in a small city, which name is Gitchin, I'm sure you don't know. When I was 15, I came to New York, when it was the big holiday, just for one week, just to see New York and see the agency. And after we were like, my agent and my family, we were like, you know, talking what's going to happen, you know. Because New York was a, you know, can be a good chance for me and uh, it's going to be good for my career. And we decide that I'm going to stay mostly here. I love the people, I like the energy, I like the atmosphere in New York, and I just love it. <laughs> I like all of it, I think it's, everything is different, and cowboys different, and shootings, 
I like all of it. It's not that I have a favorite thing. I would like to always be in fashion. I love fashion and I like clothes. I like makeup and hair. And even if I finish to be model, it will be something in the, in the fashion. Pardon me! Coming in at number two, it's Estonian stunner Carmen. In her long-running modeling career, Carmen Cass has strutted down the world's top runways and been the face of many lucrative beauty campaigns. She was once quoted as saying she's the richest girl in her home country of Estonia. It wasn't exactly that I said I'm the richest girl in Estonia. Okay. It's obviously when you do an interview, you know, you talk and, uh, and there was a question basically about, um, you know, what do you think Estonians should think about you? And I was laughing and I said, yeah, they should call Estonia Carmen. But of course, you know, and, and when you do an interview, you know, there has to be a catch line and there has to be so, that's the way it basically came out. And, and anyways, it was catchy. Carmen is still a patriotic Estonian. For a model, she took a non-traditional career move and indulged her aspirations for political office. I was running for MEP, Member of the European Parliament, in my country. I was proposed and I thought it's a very interesting possibility to see a different side of our society. As I started, I surely didn't think that I will be elected, but uh, it was more for experience why I actually accepted it. And I'm very glad I did because I learned a lot from the other side. I live in Estonia still, yeah, yeah. And I have my, uh, I live a little bit in Germany as well. Some some free time I, I spent there, but uh, but ma mainly still Estonia because I have businesses there still, and I have a modeling agency and I have real estate, <laughs> so. So I'm dealing with, I have to deal with these things and I'm a president of Estonian Chess Federation. I, I play chess ever since I was a little kid, but I, of course I'm not professional, I'm not in any high level, I'm, I'm just doing it as a hobby and when I was doing the whole political run in Estonia, they discovered that I, I play chess and of course, you know, I'm, I'm a known figure and it's, it's good to have, you know, a public figure that can help you maybe in the world to, to create contacts and also lo stabilize the federation itself locally. So, and so they elected me. I have so many things that I'm, I'm happy and proud about uh, throughout my career. I really have gotten everything that I wanted out of it as far as I can understand where the fashion uh, level, where the top really goes. I mean. I've done all the campaigns and now I have also a makeup contract which is obviously, you know, everybody's, every model's goal uh, to, to reach. I'm just totally happy with the way everything has gone. Topping our countdown at number one, supermodel Ava. Hi, I'm Ava. I'm from Czechoslovakia. I'm like from this little tiny town in the north of Czechoslovakia in the middle of the mountains. And one day I went with all my family to visit the capital Prague. And here I'm walking in the city and there's a girl and she goes like, Ava, Ava, come with me. There's French agency Madison and they make a beauty contest. And I said, no, 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 I was very, very shy. So, well, finally I went with her and there were like about 500 girls and I was like, what am I doing here? And I was ready to leave and this woman was running behind me. She goes like, you, 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 you have to stay here. So I stayed and I won the contest and I went to Paris. That's how it started. I knew something about the world in the West, but not about fashion business. About, I mean, there were no magazines and there were, I didn't know that there's uh, like, modeling business and that you, it can be a job, that you can like work like a model. I love being a model, I really like it. I like posing in front of camera, I like playing with camera.
I love challenge and you know doing pictures and fashion shoots you know you're all by yourself you're the queen you know everybody's around you and doing the um, I mean you at, at the same time you're all by yourself traveling alone you know and then when you get to the shows it's like everybody you've been working with for the whole year you know is there and it's like you know it's, it's wonderful just seeing everybody together so I mean I just love it. There is of course jealousy like in between I mean in um and like women, there's always jealousy. And between models, it's worse. So if you're blonde, you always have a blonde um, girls who are very jealous. If you would be black, there's some others. It's always like that because you're, there's a lot of competition. I always try to come to the people. I'm a very happy person. I'm always laughing. I don't think I feel uh, you feel about me that I'm like a snobby person and I'm like mean or something like this. Well, I hope so. I love to sleep when I'm not working, I just stay in bed and I sleep and I read the books and I love to see uh, movies, I go to cinema very much. When I was little, when I was in Czechoslovakia, I was always thinking of becoming um, um, an actress and I hope I'm going to do it one day. It's like an acting, I mean, it depends on the clothes, the hair, the makeup, the style, the complete style because you can like be dressed and styled in 60s so or in 30s or it it's it depends where they put it in the background and it's it's like an acting if you talk about Marilyn Monroe I mean a lot of people say that and I look like her and we have something similar but I think it's just the blonde hair and the smile I don't think we have something in common there's I don't know I mean I love Marilyn. I think she's a beautiful woman. I've seen all her movies. She's my favorite. But I never try looking like her. I don't think there's going to be another Ava.